Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you something pretty cool. Here we have an iMac G3. Uh, this was released in 1999. This model, this is a iMac DV, um, 400 megahertz, and has 384 megabytes of RAM. Now a little bit about this machine. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, they originally wanted $50 for it. But as you can see, it's a bit uh, cracked here and here, and it was missing the hard drive. Uh, I was able to get it for $35, which it seemed like an all right deal. Um, the CD or the DVD drive does not work. It takes the discs, tries to read them, and then it tries to eject, but it needs a lot of help doing that. Um, and the speakers are also blown. like. The foam rot hasn't been bad enough where they were actually ripped, but as I uh, played a game of Tetris on here, uh, the volume was really high and it ended up wrecking the speakers, which really sucks, but I'm on the hunt for some replacement speakers. So anyways, you can see uh, it is connected to the internet through ethernet. And it's actually connected to a computer using a network bridge because there's no um, Ethernet in this room. So just using the PC <clears throat> as a bridge. Um, I also have Mac OS 9 on here, but I mean, you can't do too much in terms of web browsing on Mac OS 9. Sure, you can load some really old websites or just some basic HTML websites through Classilla, but you're not going to get very far. Now, there's a somewhat up-to-date web browser called Interweb PPC. Um, it's pretty much a continuation of 10.4fox by a different developer. And uh, for the most part, it works pretty good. Now, obviously, from this computer being from 1999 or 2000, I'm not entirely sure, it's not going to be fast. Especially with under a half a gigabyte of RAM and a 400 megahertz processor. That's pretty mediocre nowadays. But let's just see. Now here's the start page rebranded Firefox. Now, if we go into the preferences, you'll see uh, an extra uh, section you wouldn't normally see. If it comes up here, down here, interweb PPC. And now there's a user agent and you can choose uh, what you want the browser to act like. I usually, I don't know why it's on class, so I usually live, leave it on uh, the default just because it seems to work the best. Um, the problem is with uh, the mobile sites is like Google, the mobile version takes longer to load than the basic HTML version that it usually goes to. Now, one thing I see I should do before I start is set the time since the battery in this computer, I don't really trust. I haven't tested to see if it was still good or not. It's this battery here. And uh, I might get a replacement just because I don't really trust that it won't leak on the motherboard. So I decided to just take it out. Sorry for the flickering. Now I have it set automatically. Oh, there it went. Sometimes it doesn't want to go. So let's just quit out of that. So let's just go to Google. That loaded pretty fast. The 
the scrolling is very slow. Go to the Wikipedia page. There it is. Well, yes, it's very slow. It's not really unusable. You could use this to, I don't know, do a quick Google search and basic stuff like that. Let's try to go to something like eBay. I notice the screen stops flickering when I'm on the web browser. And you can see it's trying really hard in the top, in the top right corner, you can see the meters. I have the memory, hard drive, and CPU usage. And uh, yeah, it's working pretty hard, but it's loading the website. What if I just stop it from loading? All right, seem to have finished. Oh, it looks like it's trying again. And we got a beach ball. And there it finally loaded. That took quite a while. Thought it was frozen for a bit. Let's go to low end Mac, because that's appropriate. And there we have it. I noticed the later pages scroll a bit smoother. No surprise, but kind of interesting to see. Obviously the old net will work just fine. Now, a funny thing, if you go to apple.com, it crashes the browser for whatever reason. I find that kind of interesting. It must just be the type of website and it doesn't agree with what it's trying to load on i'm not sure well so that was a little taste of web browsing on this computer now if you would like to see any other websites loaded on this let me know in the comments in to this video and then i'll upload a short video of this loading the website well i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching